And Smokey says she likes red geraniums too. Come to find out, yes, come to find out when I go out of town, I've been asking the man next door to me, uh, come here, Smokey, uh, to, you know, feed her. And he's been having a little bit of health issues. And so there was an another na neighbor lady that lives down that way. And so I, I don't really know her, but I learned about her. Um, it turns out that Smokey is about 13 years old. And she is the one, actually, this lady that's down here, she is the one that rescued Smokey. And I don't know what happened in her life. Uh, I don't know if someone moved into her house, like an in-law or a daughter-in-law. I, I really don't know. But it turns out that she had someone move into the house that brought another cat that was beating, kind of beating Smokey up a bit. And... So her solution to the problem was to put Smokey outside. Can you imagine? Thankfully, thankfully, Smokey has, of course, been fixed. And I've been deworming her, and I've been putting flea, I give her flea medication, and she still stays in her condo right by my back door. And um, I've been kind of, try. I try to daily pick her up, and bring her inside and, you know, kind of let her get used to, you know, the indoor noises and, you know, things like that. And when she goes to the back storm door and cries, I let her back out. Um, but can you imagine putting a cat you've had, what, maybe 10 years in your house and putting it outside? Well, you guys know how I feel. So, as... as in my mind, Smokey is mine, so there you go. I guess I'm kind of stubborn like that. But Smokey says hi. I'm going to guard the, the, the blue morning glory if it, will, if it will bloom this year. I hope so. I hope you guys have a great day. Be kind to your animals. Spay, neuter, and love them. Love them with all your heart. Merry part. And I absolutely so hope to marry meet again. Goodbye, guys.